you much better than this, Jace. Big dog. Hey, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Quite romantic, mate. Uh, a long beach. No creatures in sight except for us, and uh, obviously the lighthouse in the background quite fitting for what's going to be a, a special day of fishing. Yeah, man, we're here on that uh, entrance of the Kuiper Harbour. And we'll, I'll pick this spot here because the, as the uh, entrance sort of widens out here, got a channel that comes in closer, so the fish follow that channel down looking for food. I don't feel comfortable here in my socks and shoes, mate, so I'm going to take these off, let my athlete's uh, foot um, soak out of the sand in the in the salt water. Yeah, man. But let's get the rods out, eh? Yeah, man. Sounds good. Oh, that sun's just coming up, man. Hurry up. <laughs> Best time of the day. Got to have Best a bait so in the water. What are we working with here, mate? These are the, obviously just the rod holders. Yeah, man. Just that's what we uh, stick the rods in once we cast. Hopefully, uh, the rods aren't in there too long. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> why are you um, why are you poking those sticks in there? This is where we cast from, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm not going to make him into the bloody breakers. <laughs> no, we're just going to set the uh, gear up and then we'll walk down. Oh, right, okay. yeah, we'll so, yeah. It's just, it's just like, oh, I thought I was fishing with a dummy. Can't, you know, I mean, I, I'm, not a, I'm actually quite a smart fisherman, but I just know that for a fact that we're almost a K of shore here. Well, I told you, you got to be able to cast at least two to 300 <laughs> metres, man. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> That's your. Uh, that's that's what you're gonna have to eat if you don't catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I've had a few of those before my time. Me and Joe Parker <laughs> scoffed them back for a, a romantic date once. <laughs> so you got to be careful because we're using braid. Yeah. When you're casting, you can cut your finger. Yeah. Circumcise your your forefinger. Yeah. Which wouldn't be nice. So do you know how to uh, bait up your hook? Well, well I like, I'll, I'll let the pro do it first. I'll show you how it's That's done. That's why we hire you. So what, you go through the... So through the eye. The optic nerve, wrap it around. Straight through. Yep. Yeah. Right up the squid's ass. And roll the hook. Yeah. Oh yeah. Too Mickey. And then we've got our cotton. So that is, that's important. Cotton's important, yeah. Especially out here on the west coast. Jeez, mate, you can't. <laughs> it's starting to look like one of those uh, poor carousels for uh, Christmas, the Christmas turkey. We're in lingerie. <coughs> Done and dusted. Done and dusted. I'll bait my one up, and we'll go down and Please get her do, out. Mate. You know what's the beauty about being 6'2", mate? <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. And you flick that over, and that just stops that from spooling off. Yeah. And then when you when you flick out, you just let him go. Yeah. So not too soon, not too late. <laughs> <laughs> Give it hail, horn. of his word, that was a beautiful cast. Hey <laughs> Jason, I'm not gonna lie, it's the first time surf casting. And the first three minutes have been absolutely sensational. Like like you said, it's all about your surroundings, great company. Yeah. Pretty special. Well basically all, all it is is you know we're out here getting the line wet and end of the day the fish is the bonus. 100 percent this is living. Oh, yeah, we're on. Are we? I think so. Oh, I don't know. But like... Feels like it's getting stuck in the sand, eh? I don't know. I think that's just your sinker. Yeah, it's just a sinker, eh? You bastard. It's winding in. We'll bait up again. The snapper. A couple of bites. So that would have been sort of like your last bait would have been on there, that last bite. Yeah. That's what I was saying, just hold fire. A lot of times the guys will wind up and you've still got a little bit of bait there. Yeah. So you just hold hold fire for a couple of minutes. Oh, mate. <laughs> so wind up. Wind up? Yeah. You want about a foot before the, before the um, swivel. Swivel. 
about there. And see how it doesn't spool out? Yeah. So yeah, Drag make sure on. that's, yep. And then, and then as you get to about there, yeah. just let go. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Stand back, everybody. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Put on angle. <laughs> <laughs> so although you didn't get like too far, yeah, it's, Try to bring it's, it back in or what? Nah, sometimes it's quite good because what can happen is we could be casting over the fish. Yeah. So I'm casting maybe 80 meters. You yeah. probably got about sort of that 50, 60. So you know, I could be casting over the fish. All the fish are coming down in here, missing us. So. Well, it's all part of the strategy, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, as you probably heard from the, the expert over there, Jace, big horse, uh, that was a, a weakest piss cast. Uh, not in my eyes, though, because I that's a bit of a strategy. I know there's a, a big gut that's running through there. He's gone over that gut. This is where the fish are. So, second time, lucky on my own cast, own baiting the hook. Right, uh, full time lucky. It's all about the confidence how you approach the shoreline. As you can see, we've uh, got a bit more speed up. It's like a horse getting into a gallop. Um, this is going to be we're on. We're going to be on. This one's for the ladies at home. Oh, hey. ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for him to come. That's better. Yeah. It'll work, that will work. <laughs> it's a bit better, it's not getting it's not getting your 80 yeah. meters though, which is a, which is not nice, but bites. Oh, see? Sometimes it's good to have that well, closer first, in one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't do it up. Oh, I did a little bit. Oh, do you have to do it up or loose? Got to do it up. Oh, up. Now yeah. I'll be loosening it. No, you got to do it up tight. <laughs> did, did it cut? Yeah. <laughs> it's the first thing I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Just circumcised my forefinger. Yeah. Not too bad, though. <laughs> I've been, I, so I thought, I've been loosening it because I've been, you know, with the, and then you loosen it when you're fishing, oh, and so then when you loosen you, it when you're fishing. Yeah, and when you cast, you do it tight. Oh, so I've been doing it the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't be doing that again, will I? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. All right. Oh man, it's just ridiculous. Silly, eh? <laughs> oh, I think he's gone. Dang. Any bites? Yeah, just got a bite. That's good. Just did a, just did a you and missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Jace, big horse, where's that electrical tape? So I can strap my finger up. What happened? Well, you saw the, the laceration from oh. me uh, casting out. I, you know, I, I let the drag off instead of having it on. So it's uh, circumcised my forefinger. <laughs> no. Boy. Oh, yeah, well, I know it's just going to be niggly with the casting. We actually want to get some fish today. Uh, we got to get it past the breakers. Casting glove. Talk to Puma me. casting glove. <laughs> what is that? Uh, basically, it stops your finger from getting cut. <laughs> I probably why, should have given you that this morning. Why, why are you not wearing one? <laughs> oh, I've got heaps of cuts. I'm used to it, brother. Well, to be fair, if it, it is made by a Kuma. And, um, you know how like, oh, athletes take performance-enhancing drugs. 
Well, I'm using a performing, performance enhancing uh, piece of apparatus, so that's going to help me get another, you know, probably to the 100 metre mark. Yeah. It does not look cool though. <laughs> I've, got one, I've got one. Put your thong. This is my one here, so. Oh, thanks, mate. This is great. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> Back in business. Try it out. <laughs> Come to Don't <laughs> cut it. <laughs> no, I won't. Thanks for that. <laughs> What's for breakfast? Don't have time for breakfast, man. Ah, oh, well, I do, mate. Is there though a little bit, eh? Yeah, it's a nice snapper horse. How good is that? It's a nice fish. Well done. I'm a sashimi kind of guy, but that is a that's a that's a really nice snap. It'd be nice to get a couple, eh? Yeah. Happy days. <laughs> Twins. The pro's doing it. <laughs> well, there's one pro here. <laughs> Fish of the day! Nice fish! centimetre fish, that's the goal, you know. Jay's just encroaching on uh, the 11 hour mark. Um, mate, we tried our luck out there, getting a bit rougher. Uh, the, the high tide's obviously coming in, more current, and uh, the car wide baits didn't get touched. <laughs> that's not a bad thing though, is it? <laughs> they got touched? Yeah, they did get touched. <laughs> touched by the waves. <laughs> Yeah, that tide's coming in, so it's pushed us off, off that spot that we were getting the fish. So I think what we'll do is we'll just um, pack up, head down, back down to the entrance there. Yeah. And we'll be able to flick out a few baits there. Not too sure if they catch fish down there, but um, hey, we've got to be in, in it to win it. So. 100%. So and what, what's the next tide change we're looking at? 3.30 high? Uh, so 3.30 is about high tide, I think. Yeah. So we'll just sit out through that high tide down the entrance here and then um, maybe come back up here in the Arvo and fish into that evening. Yeah, outstanding. Hopefully another that, bite time. Hopefully that wind drops off a little bit as well. Yeah, we could. Okay. No worries, eh? Hey, settle up and yep. uh, we'll go get some grub inside the, the gut bags as well. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> 